Well, for those of you who missed the coffee cup yesterday, there you go. Uh, now, whenever I think of something, I find that somebody else has already thought about it uh, before I did, especially if I think it's a good idea. And uh, yeah, and then most of the time they actually think of it better. <laughs> now, uh, right now it is 18 minutes after 12 noon. And uh, I spent all morning, and actually a little bit yesterday morning, so, you know, working on something that I have thought of off and on for many, many years. And, and what happened was, just yesterday morning I, I woke up early, and I started thinking about this particular thing again. And uh, next thing I knew, I was sitting in front of the computer, sort of working on it, and doing the calculations and so on, and... And anyway, th th this is what I've thought of. Uh, now when it, it comes to time, digital time, you know, yeah, we've got digital watches and, and so on. That, that's been around for quite a while now. But I was thinking about digital time. Instead of having 24 hours in a day, we have 100 hours in a day. And, and of course they wouldn't be the same length as they are now, but they would be uh, about 25 or so percent as long as they are now. It would be 100 hours in the day. Instead of a 24-hour clock, we'd have a 100-hour clock. There would be 100 hours, or pardon me, there would be 100 minutes in an hour, and 100 seconds in a minute. Now, right away, some of you are probably thinking, well, my goodness, that means that the sweep hand on the dial is just going to be going like an airplane propeller. But no, it wouldn't. There would be, uh, it would work out that there would be a million seconds in a day. And I, I know right away that boggles people's minds, and they, they, again, they're thinking the second hand is just going to be flying around. But it wouldn't. It would take approximately, <clears throat> excuse me, it would take approximately eight seconds as as we know seconds, to, to do a complete revolution around the dial. It wouldn't be going that fast. Because each time it went around the dial, it would represent 100 seconds. And each time the second hand goes around once, it, another a minute would sort of advance. And then, it w and then the minute hand, when it goes around 100 times, the hour hand would advance to the next hour, and so on and so on. And I spent quite a bit of time this morning uh, trying to animate this this drawing that I've got and it was just I could sort of do it but it was a little bit complicated and it was going to take a long time so I kind of gave up on it I don't know how much we're going to do here today um, anyway I'm just telling you what's happening here oh I know that in all likelihood there has been maybe even documentaries done on this digital time idea. Or it could be that there's hundreds of YouTube videos out there where guys have made have made digital clocks that were gave, that ran in digital time. I don't know. I haven't Googled it. I don't want to. I want to work on this myself. So, uh, you know, if you're, if you're all of a sudden remembering a uh, uh, a program that you saw, a documentary that you saw, where they were talking about changing to digital time. Um, well, don't don't tell me about it, because I don't want to see it. Until I'm through fooling around for myself. Then after I've made a fool of myself, I'll check to see how other people have uh, made fools of themselves. <laughs> yeah. Now, one more thing I just thought of. Well, actually, I didn't just think of it. Uh, I realized that this sort of thing would be almost impossible to implement. Uh, because if, if you can't get the world to, to decide on whether or not we should drop daylight savings time or not, you certainly aren't going to get everybody in the world to want to switch over to some sort of digital clock. 
uh, the, you know, the it, the learning curve would be just uh, astronomical for us older people. I'm still thinking in Fahrenheit, in and miles, and inches, instead of uh, Celsius, and uh, uh, centimeters. And, and so on. It's, uh, it, it's just, uh, it was the way I was taught. And eventually, and I mentioned this before, eventually we will get sort of metric, uh, you know, worldwide. But all us old guys have to die off first. Yeah, the, the only way that you'd be able to, you know, implement something like digital time, you know, where you have a uh, a 100 hour day clock <laughs> or 100 yeah 100 hours per day uh, a clock like you like I'm showing you here on the on the screen uh, would be as if uh, well you'd, you'd have to vote me in as dictator of the world and then then maybe it would would happen uh, <laughs> and that's not gonna happen so anyway let's let's uh, Let's see what I can do here. Maybe I can make a little bit more sense with our manual. Now if we carry on here in our manual from left to right, we've obviously made these pieces here. Um, no, we didn't make this one. This one is this one here. But we can't put these pieces on until after this piece is made. Um, so uh, I, I, I think maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just put it together and get it done with quickly, uh, being as it, it is very similar to what we did yesterday on this one right here. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and make this now and, and I'll get back to you probably in about an hour. Well, here is what's happened, and it's not very good. I had it all glued together, and uh, I'm, I'm uh, looking at the manual here while I'm waiting for the CA to cure, and I'm seeing that there are little marks on the back here that I didn't notice before, and I'm looking, well, I, I don't see the little marks. Well, if I, if I turn this over here, very carefully. Okay, you, you can you can see them. They're on this piece right here. But the little marks were on the inside, which meant that I had folded this together, you might say inside out. So I, uh, I broke it apart, folded it up the other way, and everything seemed to be alright. Uh, well, by the way, I used acetone to get the CA off, and uh, then I thought, well, I'll put it in the ultrasonic cleaner and, uh, you know, just get the rest of it off. And uh, after the ultrasonic cleaner did its thing for about three minutes, I looked down inside and it has broken in two. In other words, now I did know that one of these joints here was, was very, uh, you might say, flimsy. But it, but it wasn't so flimsy that if I picked up this part, the other piece didn't want to come with it. I mean, it was it seemed a little bit, a little bit uh, you might say scrugal. I guess you could use that word maybe. Um, but remember about uh, well, a few weeks ago, I was talking about the ultrasonic cleaner, and I was saying how that uh, I had heard that on thin metal it will actually, you know, deteriorate the metal because of the the the, uh, the, vib the vibration, so uh, I imagine that's what happened. I'll have to remember that, to not do that again. So I've got to see now if I can't get this somehow together, and uh, it's, it's not going to be as good as it was, but at least now these little marks are on the outside, so we can get those little triangular brackets in place. Um, yeah. Um, I'm not discouraged. I'm just a little bit disgusted with myself. Okay, I realized that I had said I was not going to show it. I was just going to go ahead and do it. But I've also said that 
life is what happens while you're making other plans. And this is one of those times. I wasn't actually expecting this to happen. So what I'm going to do here, both both those pieces of photo etch are just laying there loose together, kind of the way they're supposed to go. And the plan here now is to just hold it together Okay, I think that's going to stay. Let's see if there's... I'm just going to touch it here and see. Yeah, it seems to be held pretty tight there. Now, I'm just going to glue this one end. Then I'm going to let it cure. Then we'll do the other end. Oh. getting on there. There it is now. Okay, now I think I got it there. Did I did I get this this where this tab is coming out? Yeah, for sure. Okay, now we're just gonna leave that for a few hours. And right now it's about three in the afternoon. I've gotta wind this video up even though it's kinda short. And um spin it around tomorrow and uh, do the other end. Or maybe I might do it this evening, I, I don't know yet. Like I say, life is what happens to you while you're making other plans, right? Okay, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.